let's go ahead and get started. I have a lot of swimsuits. Half of them are full pieces and half of them are like high-waisted bikinis. So, so these are all my swimsuits. There's a lot of them. So, this one is one of my favorites because I really like the tropical vibe on it. It reminds me of summer and stuff. This one is from Zoffel. I think I actually broke this one, but I have two of them, so if this is the broken one, then the non-broken one is in there somewhere. This one is my absolute favorite full piece because it is so flattering on me. It's like super high cut, so it makes me look skinnier than I am. And then it has a super open back, and I love it. And it ties in the front, it's so cute, and it looks so good in pictures because of this color. And this color actually looks really good on me. This is my go-to for lake days, because I don't like wearing two pieces at the lake, because then my bottoms fall off when I'm tubing. Um, this one is from Target. This one I thought I would get for fun, like for a photo shoot, and then I never actually ended up wearing it but I really think I should take pictures in it sometime because it looks really good on. It's just this cute peach color. It's got these dope like rips on the side and I believe it's also pretty high cut. So I really like it. I honestly have no idea where this is from. I'm kind of thinking it's from Target. This one is from Cup Sheet. This is another one of my favorites if I'm just going for like a nice full coverage swimsuit but still cute. Very good for lake days or like swimsuits I don't care to get dirty if I'm going to a river or something. This one is from Cup Sheet. I also love the tropical vibe and it's got this really cute like cut right here. I've worn it in a few videos and stuff so I'm sure you've seen it. But the only thing I don't like about it is that it is very low cut and uh... I'm a little bit bigger in that area, so it kind of scares me to wear, but if I know I'm just going to be chilling out by the pool or something, I will definitely wear this one. Now this one is very in your face. It is from Target. It's a very bright pink, kind of orangey color. It looks a little bit more orange after I edit it in pictures, so that's why I say that. It's got these ties down here, which makes it singe up to where it is super high cut, which I love. It's also got this really cute singe down here in the back. Well, along with this like rope thing on the back, it's a little bit low cut, but not too low cut, but it is a very like, there's a lot of side stuff going on here. I don't wear this one as often because I don't like being this bright and girly, but sometimes when I'm feeling it, I'll wear it. This one, I actually have in a two piece and in a one piece. So this is the one piece version. It's from Cup She, and it has this really cute like sports bra, sports bra type of vibe. So it stays on super well if you're looking for like a nice, Full coverage one that's going to stay on. It's also got this tie in the back and then like a tropical vibe down there at the bottom. I really like this one. It's not as flattering on me because of the way that it cuts off and stuff, but I still like to wear it a lot, especially to the lake. This one I believe is from Zoffel. It's like kind of a pirate vibe and it's got this zipper in the front. The zipper actually never comes off so I don't have to worry about that except for when I'm tubing and I have my life jacket on. It'll like since it bounces a lot, it'll unzip, and then I just have to make sure to zip it before I put my life jacket, or take my life jacket back off. And this one is very full coverage, so it's good for the lake. Family days, you know how it be. Sometimes you just need some nice full coverage swimsuits, and this one is that. By the way, none of this is sponsored. I have been sponsored by a couple of these companies in the past, but this video in particular is not sponsored, so this is my honest opinion. Lastly, this one is from Target. I think this is actually my sister's, but um, I have it, so it ties in the front, which connects to the ties in the back. This one is super cute. It's really flattering, and it also is not too much full coverage. Still shows a little bit, but it's like a good in-between, so I really like this one too. I like to wear this to the beach a lot and to the lake because it stays on really nice. And I love that pattern. That was my last full piece, so now going into the two pieces. I only wear high-waisted two pieces because I don't like to show a lot of my stomach. So this one is super high-waisted. It is from Cup She. I do like to fold it sometimes when I wear it. And it's reversible. Well, I don't know if it's supposed to be, but I like to wear it reversible sometimes. This is the top that goes with it. It's got this like really cute vibe because it's like a flap and then underneath is that matching like stripe, if you can see, ah, right there. Super cute on and it's very summery. It's got lemons on it, so I love wearing this in the summer to the beach. This one is like that full piece I showed you, so the bottoms are very high-waisted, very cute, tropical, got some stripes on the side, very full coverage. And this is the top. It's kind of like a sports bra, stays on very well, doesn't unzip. I think I've only worn this like once, but I do really like it. I think I like 
made it inside out or something. Anyway, you get the point. This one actually doesn't fit too well, so maybe I'll see if my sister wants it. But this is from Zoffel. It's really cute, so I wish it fit well and was more flattering on me, but love the color. Love the buttons on it. Super high-waisted bottom. Okay, this one, I don't know where the top went to it. The top was way too small for me. These bottoms are a little bit risky for me, but they are very flattering. But I'll probably never wear them. They're just in my closet. Very cheeky, and I'm not a huge fan of, like, super cheeky. So we'll see if these ever come out of the closet. So this one is from Zoffel. The top is way too small for me. I think I got a medium. But their sizes are super off, so who knows. But the bottoms are super cute and the bottoms fit perfect. These bottoms are my go-to, or at least used to be my go-to. I got some new ones, but super high-waisted. And it's got this, like, line right here, so it kind of cuts off and makes it look really good on. And I can literally wear this with any top, which is why I love it. But I stained the butt. And this was from Amazon, like, $10. 10 dollars 10 on 10 would recommend, fits perfect. I think I got a medium and it fits fine. See, these are my new high-waisted white ones. I don't like them as much. I got them from Forever 21 and they're super high-waisted, full coverage. Not full coverage, but like a little bit cheeky. Just like the perfect amount, you know what I'm saying? I really like them, they're not see-through. None of my white swimsuits are see-through, I've tested them. So I really like them. This swimsuit top is very tropical, very out there. I don't really wear it very often, but Maybe I will know that I have black bottoms because these match a little bit better, but it like the whole tying situation is a little difficult, but it's really cute. It like crosses in the back. So recently I went to a store called Airy, I think it's what's called, Ari, I don't know, but I didn't know that store existed and they have the cutest swimsuits. This is the softest swimsuit I've ever held in my life. It is very like thick, nice material and it looks so good on these like peak super high waisted bottoms. Love them, perfect coverage in the back, not too little, not too much. Also got this top from there, and it's kind of like a, it kind of just looks like a really cropped shirt, so it's perfect because it kind of comes down a little bit more, so then you wear with some high-waisted bottoms, it looks so cute, I just love it. It's very comfortable too, that's my go-to now. Then I got these high-cut bottoms, so they go super high on your hips, which I love because that looks really good with my body, and... These are from Forever 21, not see-through, which is great. So these bottoms, I honestly don't remember where I got them. Maybe Target? I don't know. They're just black high-waisted bottoms. They look really good on and not much to say about them. Got this. I got from Forever 21, this top. I love it. Um, I accidentally ruined the white because I went to the Hot Pots in them and it kind of turned it cream brown. But is that going to stop me from wearing it? Absolutely not. So that is all my swimsuits. There's actually like a few bottoms. I have no idea where they are. They're probably in my laundry somewhere. So today's video is going to be a wish bikini try on haul thing, whatever's in the title. Um, I have a lot of bikinis from Wish, like a lot, but I bought them like a year and a half ago. So I've gained a lot of weight since then, so a lot of them aren't going to fit me properly. Um, I don't even think some of them fit me properly back when I bought them and that was a year and a half ago. So this will be interesting. <laughs> So I'm going to go film the try on aspect now, but yeah, that's what today's video is. <laughs> I think you can quite easily tell that I just went and tried on the bikinis. One, the background changed, it's a mess now. And uh, two, I've got one of them on currently with a dress so you can't see. Three, you can see everywhere where my tan has rubbed off from trying on so many bikinis. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> It's like come right off, so that's really fun. So if it wasn't obvious enough by me telling you what I was going to go and do, you can see it physically. But now I'm going to talk about each bikini. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to put a disclaimer. I am sorry 
if for whatever reason my body offends you but I'm just gonna say that it's my life vessel not yours yes it's different to like what people see as an ideal body type no it's not perfect yes I have a lot of stretch marks and a lot of cellulite and a lot of fat a lot of impurities I have a lot of flaws in my body I don't want to say flaws because to some people they're beautiful and to me it's my body so it's just what happened like I don't know how to describe it hang on let me just quickly hang on, let me quickly show you something this is a little bit inappropriate but this is um how I'm gonna get a valid point across I'm going to insert a picture here of what my body used to look like two years ago only two years ago and here's a photo of what my boobs used to look like only two years ago okay and here's what my boobs look like now so as you can kind of tell stretch marks were inevitable because I went from that to this in two years so I'm sorry if my body offends you again but my stretch marks were inevitable when you go from this to this, this to this. So you can't really blame me for having stretch marks, can you? I do have stretch marks, you can see them on the side of my boob. And there, I have them, and plenty of them, but I don't really care. Because again, when comparing those two photos, you can see exactly how that happened, and how that was inevitable. I'm sorry if that clip offended you in any way because it was a bit, a bit much. Um, but that's me being raw and honest. Meow. 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 Um, hey guys, this is me in editing because I'm like editing the video at the moment. And I just wanted to quickly pop in here and say three things. Okay, one speed up the video because I talk so freaking slow I'm annoying myself I cannot watch this video without it being sped up because I'm like holding up the bikinis and I'm just like talking so slow and I'm like okay spit it out so speed up the video okay you do yourself a favor um what's the second thing oh in the try on parts I know don't say anything I know my face is bright orange and my body isn't that orange it's still orange it's not that orange though um, yeah, my foundation was too dark, okay? Okay, I know. Thank you. Thank you for pointing it out. Thank you. You don't need to. Okay. Um, Naya, I'm busy. Okay. Hang on. And then the third thing was that I talk about it like as if my body had changed that way in two years and that's why those stretch marks had appeared like that. I forgot to mention that it had been two years since those photos, yes, and that was what my body looked like two years since those photos but my body also has looked exactly the same for a year so my body grew that fast grew my small mosquito bites into those boobs that I showed you within a year not two years like it's been two years since then but that all happened within a year that happened a year ago so yeah you know what I forgot this whole time my ring light that's probably important you're probably like mm, there's a bit of a change in lighting yeah my ring light that's the thing Ugh. okay at the moment i think that's the best the lighting is getting i'm sorry that i look so oily i promise i'm actually not it's because i've got a bunch of sunscreen on to make me look like shiny glowy glowy to make me look glowy i'll try and put some powder on to see if that helps okay i don't think that did much but oh well so anyways, the point of that was just me disclaiming that no, I don't have a great body or a perfect body or an amazing body, whatever. So no, I don't need your comments on my body because it's my body, my property, and you can mind your own business. So if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. I know that I'm chubby and I know that I've got stretch marks and I know that I've got cellulite and I know that I've got lumps and bumps and lines and all sorts, okay? I know this. I also know that my fake tan was awful. Don't need to comment on that either. Naya, for whatever reason, I feel the need to disclaim that because I feel like if I didn't say that, people would just go right in the comments and be like, eh, and say, oh, please, like, 
somebody that I don't want to hear. Okay? Because I know. I know. I look in the mirror and I say it too. I know. Anyways, moving on. Okay. Ooh, I can't see anything, but I know you can see me. I just quickly wanted to, and to add, yes, I've got a lot of stretch marks, a lot of cellulite, a lot of lumps and bumps, but it is what it is. So, you can scrutinize me for it all you want. I don't really care. I've accepted that that's the way I look. So, yeah. Oh, and yes, I'm not the skinniest person in the world. I know that. I have got some rolls, um, but you can deal with it. My body's not perfect. So, yeah. Okay, the first bikini that I uh, started in, this black one. Now, I know for certain that these bottoms, oh no, I undid the drawstring. These bottoms came from Wish, but I'm not certain on the top. I think this black top, it's just a normal black triangle top. Um, it's just very stretched out at the moment because of the strings. Um, I'm fairly certain this black top also came from Wish. I just, I know they didn't come together, but I paired them together. Um, so yeah, this is just a normal black top. I'll sit here so I can insert the clips here. But um, yeah, this was just standard. And then this is like a very very cheeky bottom like I'm looking like up your butt piece of string thong style like cheeky it's hard to see but yeah very cheeky bottoms um and also disclaimer I wore these under a lot of the other bikinis because they were like see through like see through see through so I wore these underneath so you'll see them again quite often I'm sorry that's the first bikini okay it's gone now I'll give each bikini a rating out of like comfort sizing and quality for the one that I just <laughs> throw away um I know the top was a medium and I'd say that's pretty true like that sizing so I'd give that like a 10 um quality a 10 and comfort a 10 that was a good top the bottoms I don't remember what size they were I'm sorry I'll try and remember um, or I'll put it here in editing I don't know what I'll do so I can't do sizing comfort 10 quality 10 they were good what does perfect even mean is there even such a thing oh, oh. Can we switch up all the rules and imagine a utopia? Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I'm gonna live inside the upside down for a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. bottoms for them. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell how see-through they are. Like, you can see my nails through that. So they're very see-through so I had to wear the black bottoms underneath. I'll show you soon. Um, so yeah that's just that. They're a size uh, small. Why did I buy a small? Again this was like a year and a half ago though. But I definitely still was not a small a year and a half ago. Um, and then here's the top, so matching, and I would assume this is a small, yes it's a small. Um, I wonder if I actually ordered a small, that's ridiculous Talia. Who are you kidding? For sizing, I'd say that that was pretty true to size because it was hugging me in all the wrong places, like it was so tight. So I'd say that's pretty true to size, so I'd give that like a, an 8, I don't know because I'm not a small, so. Um, comfort, well, it wasn't my size, so zero. And quality, uh, I'll give it like a one because it is see-through. Um, I'll give the bottoms a one. 
and the top I'd give like a five because there's like padding. Oh, there was padding in the black one too. Sorry, I'm so hopeless. There's padding, so it's not see-through. And like, it's like, it's decent quality. Like, you could definitely wear that swimming and get away with it. Um, so, uh, I'd probably bump it up to like a seven actually. It is pretty decent quality, I'm not going to lie. So, that's pretty surprising. It's from Wish. Oh, sorry, Naya. Can you see her little head? Yeah, you can. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa. This one is like a bra style and yeah so the top looks like that and bottoms are like that this also has padding it's removable sorry about my thing sizing is a large and i'd probably give that like a three because it could definitely be bigger for a large a large it could definitely be like a bit bigger but even so being a large, I feel like you should have stretch and there is like no stretch in this. Like this is as far as I can go. And yeah, this looks really long. It doesn't go very wide though. If your hips are that big, you'll be fine. But mine are bigger. So I'd say it's definitely not a large and even so if it was, it needs to be stretchy. So it can fit all large body types, you know what I mean? Some women are large and curvy and some women are large and not. So, I don't know, I'd give it like a three. And the top I'd probably give like a three as well. Because it doesn't have the adjustable part in the middle. So, um, you have mad side boot. So, yeah, I was like spilling out of this one, I'm pretty sure. Comfort, um, probably like a two. And then... The quality probably also like too. This isn't very good quality at all. Like it doesn't even really feel like a swimsuit, so that's cool. Disgusted with myself and I'm disgusted with the way we're told to have a certain face. I stood and wait because we are in pixels on a screen. No, we're human, we breathe every single thing we see curated. It's overrated. These expectations they gave way and me down. My heart is begging. So the next one is super confusing. I'll put a photo of it here. Um, and then I'll insert the way I was wearing it here. I don't know how I was wearing it all. If I was wearing it right, I don't think so. I I can't even show this. Like you're just gonna have to see in the try on. And the photo, I just, I don't know. But it's like little starfish. It's cute, I just don't know how it goes. And hang on, what size is that? It is a medium. Hmm, no, okay, definitely not. I was spilling it out of this one. Um, but the bottoms are fairly straightforward, they just look like that. Um, yeah, medium, I don't think so. So, sizing, I'll give it like a five because it could definitely be a lot bigger for medium. Like medium boobs, you expect them to be that small. I'll show you here. I know you've already seen the trial, but like, who is th that's covering a nipple like what do you mean medium? anyway i'm not saying i'm a medium i'm not i'm bigger than a medium but it's just 
that is not a medium. That's like an extra small. Look at the padding. Right. Can you see it? Yeah, that covers like, that'll cover your areola and a little bit around it. Medium my ass. So, um, the top gets like a zero on sizing. The bottoms I'll give like a five. Comfort, like a one, both. Quality, like a one as well. This is not swimsuit material, so it's great. On. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I'm trying to live inside the upside down for a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa, honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa, and if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head. And I start to think. Make the The next one is also a little bit confusing and hugs me in all the wrong areas, and it really accentuated the fact that I got chubbiness. Um, my fat was like spilling out of it, so that was really fun. Um, I don't know how to show this on camera, it's very complicated. You'll see it in the photo in the try on. Um, this is the cup size, it is size small. Why would I order a small? Talia, what were you thinking? Um, if this is a small, then I would say it's pretty true to size. Uh, would never fit in a small, so I don't know why I ordered one. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's like neon yellow, which is like so pretty. It matches my nails. Oh my god, can you see? Yes, it matches my nails. Um, yeah, comfort, ugh, I'd give it like a three. And then quality is not swimsuit. Like, this is swimsuit material. The inside is like, like shirt material. I feel like it would just drag you down because it would get so heavy. Anyways. Um, also the clasp, the clasp is broken on the back, so, quality, uh, uh, yeah, what did I say before, whatever I said before, I'll bump down to a 2, so, quality's a 2, and then bottoms, so again, a small, so these are the bottoms, they are quite tricky, they're like a little bit see-through, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, they are a little bit see-through, but it's so neon that you can barely see anything on the camera as is. Yeah, my fat was just spilling out of these. Don't know why I got a small year and a half ago, because I was not a small year and a half ago. I've been like a medium. Uh, comfort, uh, the bottoms were like a zero. Comfort on the bottoms was not good. Uh, quality, they're like maybe a two. And sizing, I guess. So I'm just going to say it. I'm not going to rate the sizing on this because I don't know. I'm not a small, I can't really rate it. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, can we switch up all the make the Here's the top for the next one. Um, super pretty, and then this is like neon orange, but I don't think that's gonna pick up on camera. Um, so yeah, that's the top. This is a small. A small! What was I doing? Did I really order smalls? Or did they send me the wrong size? I don't know. Whatever. This one actually kind of fits me okay. Not good, my boobs spill it, you know. But I just like it so much that I kind of just get over it. <laughs> so sizing would be, um, I can't rate it because I'm not a small. Quality. Quality. To be quite honest, and I hate to say this, quality is probably like a four. Because, yeah, it's not great quality. It just looks really nice though. Um, and then what was the other one? Comfort. Uh, comfort's like a nine for me on the top. Uh, the bottoms. Bottoms are just like the leopard print. Um, and then the neon straps. Um, sizing, can't rate it. 
quality is like a four, and then the comfort for me is like a seven or an eight. It's fine. Rules and imagine a utopia. Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my life. I don't wanna live inside the upside down. For a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. And if I say you need enough. One very similar to that, like style wise, I guess, is just another sort of one like that, but with like palm trees and stuff. So I gotta show up. Let me just. So yeah, this one's super cute as well. And all the ratings that I gave for the other one, I would do the same for this one. Like confident, like they're pretty much the same thing. It's just a different pattern. Um, but this one's a medium, and I'd say that this one does fit me. Actually, I think this one fits me a little bit worse, so that's funny. I'd say the medium isn't exactly true to size, but it's like close to it. The only reason I say that, like the cup size is fine. So top, medium, that's fine. That's completely fine. But the bottoms are what I'm more concerned about. Um, they're a bit weird. They're also a little bit see-through, so quality's gonna have to go down um, to like a two. But yeah, so here's the bottoms. They are cute or whatever, but you can't, like, you can't, you have to tie them like this. Because if you go to pull it up, the front and the back, like, dip, like, what you're seeing right now, like, they dip like that. So if you were to just be, like, standing in front of someone and they, like, pulled it up, you would be able to see right down into their hoo ha and their line, if you know what I mean. Because, uh, it just, yeah, it opens, like it creates a little fold and it opens. I don't think I showed it in the try on and I don't think I'd want to because I can't put that on YouTube. Um, but yeah, you have to tie it straight across. You can't pull it up because as soon as you pull it up, it does that little fold thing and you can see it right in there. And it's just not good, you know? Whoa, This one was reversible. I think I had the top on this side and the bottoms on this side. But um, let me just show you the top first. This is a medium. Um, the top is super cute. It's like little pineapples and then that out. There's a little string across the boobies. Um, but yeah, it's reversible into like actual pineapple like looking thing, whatever. Uh, like a close up of the pineapple. So like here's the pineapple and then like here's basically what that looks like but like zoomed up. So yeah, got that. Yeah, pretty sure I wore them with the white out. But then there's also like the other side as well. So they're reversible. They're good. Um, what are they? A medium. I'd say they they fit pretty true size and they're quite stretchy. Quality, I'd give them like a like a eight. They're pretty good. Um, it has a removable padding. I think I've been forgetting to say that, but like every single bikini that I show you, I'm pretty sure has padding that is removable. Don't quote me on that though. Um, yeah, not much to say about this. This is a great bikini sizing. I'd say it's accurate. Um, quality, I'd say it's like a nine or an eight. And then comf 
but I'd give it like an eight. The hell out of my head, I'm gonna live inside the upside down for a minute and pretend, honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, and if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head, and I start to think, honey, I'm a perfect ten. I really like this one piece, except it is just a teensy bit small on me. She says it's a, it's a lot of bit small on me. Uh, it's a medium. I definitely should have sized up to a large. It's just like a standard one piece, um, but then like the back is like really low. We'll see it on the try on and in the photo, I'm sure. Um, it has padding. Is that removable? Yes, it is removable. Um, yeah, I really like this. It's just a little bit tight on me. Um, sizing, I'd say, is accurate. So there's that. Quality. It's a decent. It's yeah, it's decent. It is decent. I'd probably give it like a seven. And then uh, comfort. If I had a sized right, then it probably would be like an eight. But since I sized wrong, it's probably like a five. That's my fault. That's my fault. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh. can we switch up all the rules and imagine a utopia? Darling, I'm just so. Now, with the next one, I paired it with uh, this white. Oh, Jesus Christ. Top is the same as the black one, it's just in white. Um, so if you really need to know, this is a medium and I'd say it fits pretty true to size. It's good quality, has removable padding and it is fairly comfortable. What I was trying to show you was, my boobs coming out, what's going on? Um, with these, this on quality, zero, like definite zero, because this is like not swimsuit material at all, like, no. Here's what the bottoms look like. This is a medium. So straight away I'm saying no to sizing because this looks like an extra small. So um, no in sizing. Um, quality, zero. Uh, comfort, zero. So this is sh shite. Okay, flippin' awful, okay. And you wanna know the funny thing? And you'll see this in the trial. The top, don't know where the other half is. I don't know why they make it that way. I don't know why they don't just sew the um, like the straps in at a certain point or something like that so it can't keep going um, but they don't do that for whatever reason so the other one who knows where it is because I couldn't find it so you know that's a big flaw so everything is a zero on this the, the, the pattern and everything and the colors really pretty really beautiful everything else a zero okay this is shiitake Fed up with these expectations, they weigh me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I'm gonna live inside the upside down. For a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Make the magic. And then the last one. The last one is one that I'm wearing right now, so it's kind of hard to show you, but basically it's just this pineapple one. The funny thing about this one is, yes, I ordered it on Wish. When I got it, it came in a Zapple bag, and it has a Zapple tag. So it's from Zapple, but I got it on Wish, so I saved a lot of money there. That's pretty cool. So this one's actually, like, this is my favourite quality-wise. Like This is 
really good quality. Um, but yeah, it just looks like this. The bottoms are just plain in this colour. So, I don't know if you can see that properly. But yeah, they're just plain in that colour. You're so soft. So, quality 10. Um, sizing, oh god, what size is it? It's a medium. I can't really show you without showing my whole breast. But this tag, if I can somehow zoom up on that in editing, it says Zaffle, Zaffle Swim. So, yeah, it's from Zaffle. I'd say that's pretty true. Yeah, mixed sizing, so I'd give that a 10. And then comfort is a 10. So this is a 10 out of 10, out of 10 bikini. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it's definitely like my favourite because um, it's so comfortable and so stretchy and the material, oh, beautiful. So, yeah. that I want to talk to you about is called Thinking Mu or Thinking Mu. I don't really know how it's pronounced. They're from Spain, Barcelona, and the clothes are made in Portugal, so it's a very European brand. This top is from them. It has like a kind of U-neck in the back. It's super light and thank God because right now it's like 35 degrees already and it's not even 9 a.m. What I love about Thinking Mew is on their website, they are very, very, very specific on each item. This is organic cotton, this is a recycled material, we've made this with that. They know everything and it really adds value. You really know what you're purchasing and I think that's amazing. So this is made from hemp, a very sustainable plant. All the clothes came in this little bag to put like even dirty clothes when you're traveling or just clean clothes and you want to protect the fabric because sustainability is also about this is having durability in your clothing. I got a really nice loose t-shirt with surfers on top as a print because I'm from Tahiti and I just love surfing and I think it's really nice cut too like and it's or getting cut in and the feel is really amazing and then I got two other items haven't really worn that before but I thought why not change it up this is a long skirt the print I really love it's little palm trees and it's like a washed out pink this top is from this is first based it's actually five years old I got it in Australia on sale I think it was five euros five dollars but this skirt it just stops on the right um, hey, on my ankle. I think it looks super cute. You can open it if you want to open it. <laughs> and I just think it's really nice for like a summer evening. And then you're gonna either love or hate it. I saw it online and I was like, ah, oh, this is so unique. This is like so unique, I want it. So it's a very long blues. I love the color, first of all, I think it matches kind of great with my eyes and my hair color. Of course you have to tie it, otherwise it just looks like nothing. You have to add a little belt and it's so light and so comfortable. The night I receive it, I put it on to try it and I was like not putting it off. It's seriously so comfortable. You can also wear it open. I just really am in love and I would love to know if you like it or you hate it. <laughs> I personally love it. Anyway, let's talk bikinis. I got two pieces of swimwear by Tropic of Sea. Tropic of Sea is a sustainable brand by Candice Swanepoel. She's a top model. I love Candice. I think she's so, well, first of all, beautiful, but you can see that she's a beautiful person inside. She does so much for the environment. Gosh, she's just so cute. She actually followed me one and a half year ago, something like that, and the day she followed me, I was like, you, 
you not only made my day you made my whole year anyways i love her and i wanted to try her brand those are very expensive bikinis they're not like cheap so don't come at me in the comments saying like it's not an affordable option i know it's not affordable i died inside <laughs> when i purchased them they're both from c collection i honestly don't feel super comfortable putting myself in a bikini on youtube but when i purchase the bikini I really wish that someone would show a try on that's not on a top model or that's not on a model that's just on a normal person to know how it looks like so I'm gonna do it but I kind of feel uncomfortable doing it so please be kind in the comments you can definitely tell that it's very luxurious fabric they're made from eco nylon so it's like nylon but it's made from waste recycled waste so nice to think that you're wearing a bikini that's actually saving the ocean too both of the tops have a very straight line i think it's flattering if you have small boobs i'm not sure if you have bigger boobs how it would look like the bottoms are very revealing for both it's basically a thong for the two pieces and it's also pretty much a thong for the one piece i absolutely love the color and i feel like this e can even be worn with a jean just two things i did not like already with the brand is the sizing first of all i mean i'm short I'm not a model but i'm not like big either the bikinis are small they do have extra small so i was like should i take an extra small should i take a small because i usually am in between the two and even the small is small if i were to order again i would probably take a medium but I didn't want to exchange because I had to pay twice the shipping and twice the taxes and the taxes were really expensive and that's another thing that I did not like about the brand is that I got them on sale and they did not put the right amount on the paper to hand to DHL and so I had like the full amount to pay on taxes and I wrote to them they did not want to change that so I was like you know that hurts Moving on to organic basic, they use recycled material and they're doing very, very basic things. And I think that's so great because I need a lot of basics in my everyday life, especially when I'm teaching yoga, for example, and I need like very plain tops and underwear and things like that. And that's what they do. So I got underwear, I got the thong and it's actually pretty, pretty sexy, to be honest. I got their bra i love the color it's like a bald very nice and very nice feel too the bra is reversible so it's either saying basically better made or it just says organic basic quality pieces you know i also got this tank top which is a black very simple again tank top i got it in size small it's the same fabric from the underwear when you're working out or even just like a little sleek look with a jean i like it you can also fold it to do a crop top because it's so thin you can't even see that you folded it and finally i got a white tee again size small i think i could have gone for size medium because it's a bit small at my shoulders i have wider shoulders so maybe i should have taken medium but it seriously fits so well and it's so nice to feel on your skin you definitely feel that it's an organic fabric um, and that it will last i'm super stoked the pieces are not super cheap but if you think of how many time you're going to buy a basic piece from let's say h&m or zara things that i used to do if you add it up you will save money eventually if you buy from organic basic for sure because you can see that the material is going to stay forever so maybe not forever but a long long time and also you're doing so good for the environment organic basic actually reached out to me a couple of months ago and i wasn't really interested into sustainable fashion but now that i am i actually reached out to them again and saying like actually i would be ready to work with you so i am an affiliate for them it means that if you discover the brand or if you like something and you want to purchase it and you do it through my link i earn a little commission out of it but it's just really nice because it's no extra cost for you and it actually supports my channel the next thing i bought are from vinted vinted is an app where you can thrift shop on i have my own store i sell clothes on there if you want to have a look i'll have the link in the description box below but i also buy things and i'm so happy about my purchases purchases 
But let me show you what I got. I got two pair of jeans. They fit perfect on my body. I got a black and I got a white jean that has a hole at the knee and I'm so happy because I've never had a jean like this before. So that's a steal. We love it. I also got this very nice linen blues and I think it looks amazing open or close with a jean with a short with a skirt and linen is perfect for summer i think this is a really good outfit if you're going if you're working on an, in an office like casual but kind of chic you know and finally i got something that's really not for summer <laughs> you always buy that sweater in summer don't you but come on come on j'adore <laughs> Come on, how gorgeous is the color and the cut and everything of this sweater. I think it was only like 12 euros that I paid and honestly, I'm so happy about it. Can't wait to wear it. I think this has wool inside, so it's not a vegan, but I don't mind buying second clothes that aren't vegan, second hand clothes. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about it. Next, I got super cute slippers from Aburi, which is a German brand and they're super ethical and sustainable in the way they work. They know exactly where each item has been done and even like who made it or they know how long it took. So on their, so it comes in a little bag and on the tag here, you have how many hours it's taken to make. And so those have taken five hours to be made. They're giving a part of their revenues to education. I absolutely love these, like they look so cute. It's real raffia and they look so cute with dresses or like jeans. I think they look super summery. I saw them first on Chloe Kian. The only thing I'm really not sure, unfortunately, if the sole is not leather. I received them and I was like, It smells like leather, but I went onto the website. I could not find any information about the sole, so I'm not sure if it's leather or not. In depth, I'm not gonna say they're vegan because I don't want you to think they're vegan if you're vegan and you want to buy them. Something I'm kind of like, ugh. Staying on the shoe theme, I got these super pretty sandals. I mean, they are so gorgeous. They come from Zoa Store which is an online place where you can buy luxury items. So the things there aren't cheap, but they're very well made and it's a sustainable production. I absolutely loved those sandals. It looks so cute. The color is perfect. It makes my legs look taller because I'm very short. So it's perfect for me. They're really comfortable and they're like very tall. I think it's 12 centimeter heel. I think they really make like, any summer outfit really chic but also casual you know what i mean so i love them my final purchase come from Cezanne. you may know that brand it's a french brand they're not 100 percent sustainable yet so you need to kind of look where each item has been done if you really want to buy something very sustainable i'm gonna show you three things that i got you may not know but i'm a very summer dress person i absolutely love a really cute dress and this is a really cute dress so damn cute ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> i got this skirt which on the website look really nice. And then I got it and I was like, I'm not sure. And it was a bit big. So I shipped it back and I got it on size 34 and it fits really better. And it just looks better and cuter and also shorter my legs. I need something really above the knee, kind of chic, like on a Sunday brunch or something or at night. It's not like an everyday thing. I don't think you can do a lot of activity in this. Of course, it's a skirt. And finally, this is one of my favorite pieces. Again, you might love it, you might hate it. <laughs> it's a damn suit. It's like a t-shirt cut. I think it's in Lyocell. I'm not sure about this now. Yeah, it is. So it's a very sustainable fabric. I took size 34 and I could have gone for 36, but at the same time, 
I feel like I'm a 34 body but some parts are a bit tight like here it's not really pretty I need to put the pocket down and to put that up and I also need to like shorten it a bit I think it fits really well with those shoes but here would be cuter because my ankle appear appears um, thinner it feels very light on the skin so happy about this purchase and it feels so soft and good and yeah I'm just I'm just really happy <laughs> that's it for this video I really hope you enjoyed this haul Okay, I'm a newbie, I'm a beginner, so maybe it wasn't a great video, but I'm gonna get better. I really want to start talk more about sustainability, like I said at the start. I don't know if you would be interested, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know actually where you're going, if you're going somewhere this summer. I'm going to Corsica with my sister and my mom and I really can't wait to be on holidays! Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, leave it a little thumbs up if you did. Also, if you're not already, I would love to have you on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe, there's a little button for it, it's not here for nothing. <laughs> and it's free for you and it would make me really happy and now the noise is starting again outside. Alright, I hope you have a beautiful